Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I'm going to show you how to use the Trace tool in Corel Draw. This is Corel Draw X4. The Trace tool is um, is located in your Corel Draw software, and it's good for converting bitmaps to vector, which is a handy um, tool for doing uh, cutting out backgrounds in your images, the white background um, images that um, that you want to be able to ungroup and manipulate more or change the color of the actual uh, image things like that you can do that once you've used the trace tool and I'm going to show you how to do that using this image here uh, this is an image that um, uh, that would be perfect for this type of um, uh, for using the trace tool so uh, you have to select it first off so this is your your select tool here and you're in the you've got the bounding box around the actual object and once you have the bounding box you can come up and click your trace bitmap and it gives you an option um, as far as these options are uh, sp specific to what you want to do like line art clip art and the quality of the actual uh, end result of, of the trace tool. So I usually will start out with something like a high quality image and this gives us a, a new dialog box and as you can see it is tracing it now and this is the original image if you see up here is the before and after um, and then this is what the, uh, the the trace tool just did it took out the white background once I've done that if I want to detail it more I can move these um, slide bars here which will change and um, give me some options as far as how much detail I want and usually you know just clicking it the first time I can get the result I want but if I if I have an image that's a bit more challenging these slide bars right here are great to try different things to see if you get a better result which I do use often so now that I have changed it from a bitmap to a vector image that I can manipulate and I have this this shows me the um, what it's gonna look like which looks very close to what I already have which is what we want I just click OK and what that's done is it's brought in my vector image on top of my bitmap so it's the bounding box is still on it but I'm going to slide it over this is my new vector image our object and this is the old one so it's grouped here I'm going to slide it out of the way and I'm going to click on this one and slide it back in now the advantage of the trace tool now it's as you can see it's one object but now I can ungroup it so to do that I click on the object which is my new uh, vector image where I my goal here is to manipulate this image so I can change the color or do things that I want to do it but ultimately take out the white background as I can right click now and ungroup it uh, and the reason I want to do that is uh, I'll show you I'm gonna click here let's say for instance I have a box and I want to put make this box black and I want to take and I'm I'm gonna move this object over here so you can get the gist of what what I'm fixing to do and um, I need to first off bring it to the front order and uh, to the front of page okay so now what I've got is I've got the object but maybe I want to take this white out too so I'm going to um, show you the advantage of ungrouping something so that I can remove additional objects so I'm going to move it back over here and I'm going to right click and left click on ungroup now I'm going to click outside of the page and now I can select the white within the background here and I can click delete actually let's bring it over here so you can see it better so now I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna delete that and now I'm gonna click 
I'm going to click on the white within the D, delete that, and delete this one. So that's the advantage of the trace tool and uh, how to use it. So I hope this has helped. My name is Vicki. I'm at Condi Systems, the tech support department, and I appreciate your time.